In today's video, we'll talk about strings and string class methods. Now you might have heard of strings or used strings before uh, while programming. So let's start off with the very basics. What is a string when we are talking about Java? So a string is a, essentially a sequence of characters and that could be any characters. It could be alphabets, it could be delimiters, it could be numbers. So a combination of any such characters is called as string. Now in Java, uh, strings are objects. They are not like primitive data types, integer or double, but they are actually objects. And that too, immutable objects. So what do I mean when I say immutable? Now you know when you create an integer and store some variable into it, you can change the value of that variable throughout the program. So there is one integer variable where you are just changing the value. Those data types are called mutable or changing data types. Now strings are immutable. So once you assign any value to strings and then if you during the course of program want to change it, you will not be able to change that value. When you do that, another variable of string is created that takes the new value. So whatever operations you perform on the string, every time the value is changed, a new object is created. Now further, if you have to initialize a string, there are two methods. First one is pretty simple as you see on the screen. You just give the data type string, variable name greeting, and just give the string in double quotes. That is hello world here. Now another way to do this, since strings are objects, is using the new keyword. So that is how you do it. Say string, give the name, and then just say new string, and then inside give the value of the string. So that will create a new string object for you. So these are the two ways you can initialize your strings. Now moving on further, let's talk about the string class. Since strings are objects, we have a predefined string class in Java. Now the string class represents character strings. All string literals in Java are instances of this class. So all the strings in Java are basically the instances or the objects of this particular string class. And the string class has 40 plus methods that helps us operate with these strings. So you want to concatenate, you want to trim, you want to add something onto the string, append something to the string. All these functions are already defined and provided to us in this string class. So there are uh, different number of functions depending on the version of Java that you are using. But broadly, these all can be grouped into different different categories. So let me quickly browse through a few categories and a few functions that we have mostly seen in programs. So first off, comparison. If you have to compare two strings with each other, the very basic or the very common methods that are used for the purpose are equals, equals ignore case, which will ignore the case of while comparing and compare to and compare to ignore case. Now, there are many more functions that would might support comparisons, but these are the most frequently used ones. And further, if we talk about conversion of strings to some other type or some other type to strings, these is functions are what we see. To uppercase, to lowercase, parse int and parse float. Now parse, we'll see in more detail later, but these are few of the functions that are used for conversions. And finally, text processing. Now text processing is a very basic thing to do while you're dealing with strings. You might have to trim it or replace it or cut it off, chop it off into different parts. All those functions come under the text processing category. So as you see, some of them are listed here, trim, replace, split, concat, and join. So this was all about basics of string. And in a few more videos, we'll discuss some of the most commonly used functions. Thank you for watching guys. Happy coding.